What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? Today we got top 10 best and free FPS games and quite frankly we have more than just 10 games on the list. We have approximately 20 games. We're gonna check it out. Get your goggles on. Get your toxic gamers out. We're gonna see if these games can compete with Call of Duty or not. Let's check this out. Like and share. I would absolutely love you uh, forever. The uh, let's check a it free to play FPS multiplayer Bonus? horror Wait, game that pits you against a cult in a dynamic like bonus pizza we want to destroy it the game features a variety of gameplay mods where you can team up with your friends and fight demons using weapons and black magic while also upgrading your safe house oh, damn. delta force hawk tops a free-to-play mm. multiplayer tactical first person yo if this game is at number nine i wonder what's at number one because delta force uh, has a lot of battlefield and call of duty like qualities do you think that this can take some call of duty refugees on it because uh, there are a lot of call of duty refugees man because right now a lot of people People are mad as hell and upset with Call of Duty. Uh, I, I do think this game has a lot of potential, but part of me just feels like that it's gonna get some refugees over, but it's not gonna be able to beat it though. I'm just being honest. And at number eight, we got the finals, and the finals just came out recently. A lot of people love it, and because of that, I just got reminded of because recently EA and Dice came out, and they did say that the next Battlefield game is gonna have industry standard destruction oh, it's, it's gonna have next level destruction it's gonna blow everybody away or uh, i should say blow everybody minds away, treating issues everyone. that the devs are yet to address the finals is one of the games that successfully applied environmental destruction in its gameplay and if you're yeah. looking for a next gen fast paced high stake and spectacular game the finals might be the one for you and i think yeah. it will go down as one of the best innovative fps games in do you think the next battlefield game can beat this game a free to play game that features a unique 4v4 v4 format where three teams of four players each compete over control of an uplink one team defends and the other two attack and teams take turn defending with a new team defending each round from a different side of the map you can choose from four different classes assault infiltrator support and engineer each with their own Damn. weapons and gadgets and use them to your advantage in various situations yeah got a little bit of that give me that battlefield nostalgia there for a second that's something that battlefield 2042 removed it has a uh, csgo vibes as well yo what about csgo i heard that they got a new game coming out it all it's already out right each other for you to take out the last one and all take right. the win block man I don't mind the mommy milkers the way it was looking, but you know that it's gonna be microtransactions, hell. Like a mix between Counter-Strike and Minecraft. The game features multiple game mods, over 40 different types of blocks, oh, and a creative <laughs> mod. You Holy. face off in epic 5v5 matches where you have to work with your friends. Yo, uh, uh, if you if you play Minecraft, what are your thoughts on it? WL banger or you got erectile dysfunction? Source. What you thinking? Hysteria, a free-to-play fast-paced multiplayer shooter with a unique features. A changing battleground called the glitch. The map changes during the match and affects the situation of the players, bringing chunks of terrains and weapons from different areas into the arena. And you, you alongside your too. friends, have to adapt to the changing environment and use the best weapons for each situation to stay on top. Hysteria is currently in early access and it's coming in 2024 with different maps. Much eh, okay, this one is kind of mid bro. Uh, this one looks kind of mid-ish, but I'm sure somebody out there love it. Uh, if you love it, let me know. Thoughts on this one real and quick? And cosmetics. Counter-Strike 2, the iconic oh, FPS game that is a free- How? How did we go from number one to number one right there? I mean, the, the, we have a lot of other games too, but I think he messed it up. Upgrade to CSGO. Counter-Strike 2 offers realistic graphics, physics, and networking. It also introduces new gameplay elements, such as dynamic smoke grenades, global and regional leaderboards, and an updated rating system, alongside an overhaul and an upgrade of all the maps. CS2 was released end of 2023, and it will compete with oh, all damn. the best next-gen free FPS games of 2024. Shadow Knight, a free-to-play yeah. multiplayer <laughs> Oh yeah, this God. is number four. So we got number one early. PS game that offers both co-op and PvP mods. The game is set in the near future where but humanity it, faces a cosmic threat called the Crystalline, which transforms living beings and planets into its own image. Players can choose from eight unique classes. I like it, I like it. Each yeah, I like this a lot. It gives me a lot of like Modern Warfare 2 OG vibes at Quarry Map, especially, right? Just the vibes! It doesn't look like it, okay, before you get mad at Bruh. me. It doesn't look like it, it's more like... It has a lot of that clean look, but I do like the holy... Got zombies like... It's cold and more. Shutterline is currently in early access on Steam, 
and it will become available on 2024. Oh, X a free-to-play first-person arena shooter game by Ubisoft. The game has been delayed multiple times due to some gameplay and... Your thoughts on this one real quick? Do you think that this game is gonna bang or gonna just give you, give give all of us erectile dysfunction? What do we think? And because it got good, solid aspects to it, uh, but I'm not sure. The, the best thing that they recently announced was that it's gonna have skill-based matchmaking until, like, level 25, but in public lobbies after that, no skill-based matchmaking, oh, guys. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think it has a lot of... Uh, I hope this game succeed, bro. Otherwise, dog, there is gonna be nothing Call of Duty is gonna ever able... Uh, you know, Halo and Destiny. Number two. Bungie. The game is a sci-fi extraction shooter that is similar to Escape from Tarkov, but more right. focused on the PvP aspect. You and your friends land on a planet and must battle other players okay. to escape alive with loot. The game features realistic graphics, dynamic weather, and customizable weapons and gear. And it's expected to be released in 2024 for PC, Xbox Series X, mm. and PlayStation 5. It has a lot of the, the finals vibes as well. And we got a ton of bonus games as well. This one is called Black Stigma. I, I, I've skimmed through the list and there's one coming on the list that you're going to love it. Yes. Land of excitement by assuming the role of a distinct killer. Engage in mid-range shooting using specialized handguns and formulating strategies with oh, active yeah. skills inspired yeah, by that. real life martial arts. Havoc, a tactical team-based first-person shooter game Wait featuring fully destructible environment. Players are tasked with planting and defusing bombs. Man, I don't know if this is amazing or sad as hell. Uh, not for this game, obviously, but it's sad as hell that we... Um, <laughs> like, a ton of games have destruction. There used to be a time that destruction was unheard of in a lot of other games. It was like that, that beautiful, just unique-ass thing for Battlefield, and they got rid of it, and it's like, damn, bro, you know what I mean? I hope their next game actually brings it back. They are saying it's gonna be mind-blowing! People are gonna be shocked. It's gonna be so realistic that people are gonna look like this, you know? And, and then we have Roblox, this one! Oh, shit. Oh. This one, boys, this one. One of the games is Frontline, a first-person shooter offering battles for up to 32 players on different maps using diverse weaponry. Roblox Riotful, an action FPS experience where players can customize their loadouts and skills for intent. Dog, I remember when these videos started blowing up on Twitter, right? Everybody was, uh, uh, <laughs> everybody was sharing this and this went viral because nobody was expecting Roblox to look like Call of Duty with with good graphics, like holy mother of god, like god damn, you know what I'm saying? And then we got setbacks. Grading weapons infused with time-altering technology. Instead of traditional death mechanics, players experience setbacking, where they travel through time. So you have to strategically use movements and physics okay. to outsmart your opponents. Clan Wars, a first-person shooter with survival really? elements, primarily focused on online multiplayer games. Uh, they brought it from the PlayStation 3 days, locations. Guys. Players must navigate <laughs> challenges, collect resources, and fortify their homes. But man, no no shame, to be honest, because, like, uh, I, I know PlayStation 3 and 360 era was, honest to God, my favorite, though. Thoughts on this one real quick, man? Think about it for a second. Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, even had Battlefield 4 during that time. Uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the original, not the new one. Black Ops 1, this one's called SWAT Tactical. Uh, Black Ops 1, Black Ops Ops 2, man, we had GTA 4 came out around that time. We had Uncharted games, God of War games, Halo was at its prime. We had so many good games at that time, bro. Whatever happened, dog? Whatever, what is happening? What is going on? Where are the games, man? We all are waiting for GTA 6 and some good ass FPS games. I hope the next Call of Duty game is good. Uh, Tra it's Treyarch making it, so there's a chance. And now we got Polygon. Okay, this is like literally like the number one, the real number one spot. And guys, we recently done 41 minutes of new FPS games that are going to be coming out this year. Click on this video on the screen. You're going to absolutely love it. We got a lot of them are free. A lot of them are not going to be free because this list was free only. But check this video out and you're absolutely going to love it.